A ping system has just been confirmed for Halo Infinite. How does this actually change the gameplay though? Well, significantly. How significant? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So a really cool gameplay mechanic has just been revealed by 343, actually revealed in a 343 employee spotlight kind of thing, which really is very rare for us to get some news and information out of, but hey, it happened. And this ping system looks to be completely different from Halo 5, and looks to actually kind of mimic the same kind of systems you see in other popular shooters like Apex Legends, Call of Duty, and even Fortnite. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button, it greatly helps out the video and channel as well. Once you get there with everything going on with Halo, as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, Make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So in the recent 343 employee showcase, they showcase Andrew Witz. If you guys remember this face right here, he was in the multiplayer overview. This guy right here is the lead multiplayer designer. So if you have anything upset or mad about Halo Infinite's multiplayer, this is the guy to go talk to. And most of this is kind of like a fluff bit of an interview, just kind of just going over like, hey, why do you like Halo? What do you like about working at 343? Where do you come from? What do you like about the job? And everything in between. But we actually had some interesting bits of Halo Infinite news within this blog, so I wanted to point that out for you guys in this video. So when asked as a multiplayer designer, what do you do here on a daily basis, he just kind of goes over like, hey, yeah, we work on pretty much everything multiplayer related, you know, modes like Capture the Flag, Slayer, Oddball, BTB, and things like that. But a really interesting thing was mentioned right here. We're here talking about the various systems that he's working on, but the most important one that we're all talking about in this video is the Mark system, or what it's called. Commonly referred to as a ping system for every game out there, but he says the Mark system, which is a feature where players can mark a spot in the world that lets their teammates know vital information, like an enemy position or weapon locations. Now this bit of Halo news is pretty massive when it comes to gameplay experience while playing Halo Infinite because this sounds like it's going to be a bit of a contextual ping system that we'll have within the game similar to very popular shooters out there right now. Basically what this will do is you'll hit a button that will ping something in the world your teammates will be able to see like a location or a weapon or something a point of interest that you'll need to communicate with your team. I think the main reason why they did this is because majority of people like the solo queue match but sometimes you get match against parties and in-game communication is a huge advantage when it comes to playing Halo. So this is one way where solo queue players can have a little bit of an even playing field playing against parties and also just general communication because obviously when you're playing solo no one's talking that it can be kind of hard to have proper game sense and awareness of what's going on in the match. So a ping system could be very useful. Now some of you might say, well Kevin, we had a ping system within Halo 5 why do we need a different kind of ping system now? Well, the pinging within Halo 5 was very rudimentary, as in it doesn't really provide proper information, it just kind of honestly provides more questions than actual answers. As you can see in this clip in Halo 5, you can see once he goes around the corner, his teammate pings right here, and you can see that, yes, there's a yellow dot that pops above his head and makes you know that, hey, there's something going on right over here, but it doesn't really tell you a whole lot when it comes to, say, like, weapon spawns, enemy locations and things like that. It's just letting your teammates know, letting you know that, hey, something's happening with me. But this new ping system looks to be completely different where it actually give you exact detailed information of what you need to know within the game match of playing Halo Infinite multiplayer. To me, this sounds like it's gonna be very similar to Apex Legends when it comes to the ping system within there. So let's go check out that. So what the pinging system sounds like it's going to be very similar to would be a game like Apex Legends, which kind of popularizes the ping system within your shooters. The ping system does a great job of contextually pointing out things that you'll need to know within the game. So for example, if I saw someone over here on top of this bridge, I wanted to call them out. I just tap the ping button and there you go. You can mark it out. You can see it's in the world right there on the map itself. And say if I saw someone, but I can't see them exactly, I'll double tap the ping Target button. Spotted. Let you know that there's going to be a, a red indicator saying like hey enemy spotted but it's not only just about like spotting enemies and bad guys within the world you can also spot out items so like for xbox legends you have all these different kind of pieces of equipment right you can look at this body shields here level calls four. out body shield what kind of level it was or like an equipment here, here. Level four. 
And then another thing too, where like people can ping at different kinds of items, they can see that you pinged it within the world and they can ping that as well to affirm that what you pinged out, they saw that as well. Which is super useful within this game because when you're playing, so many times it's like, oh, enemy over there. Well, where's there? Everywhere is there pretty much right there. Might That's why I'm talking about. I say enemy over there. Everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm expecting to see something very similar when it comes to Halo Infinite's ping system. So you can see the ping system provides a lot of really important information, but could it honestly be too much information and a bit of a crutch for newer players? I don't think so, though this could potentially be an issue with ranked play because people who generally play higher level ranked modes have better game sense and awareness where a ping system could also provide too much information on what's going on within the game. Though nothing will truly beat in-game comms, you see all the time when people playing Apex Legends and Call of Duty, especially in Warzone, that you see people like always jumping in a party, voice chatting with the people, kind of giving different kinds of call outs and things like that. So even though the ping system will certainly help out against teams in full communication, it will not be able to replace it. And Halo is such a fast paced game that if you need to like press up on the D-pad, that's going to be such a cumbersome kind of way to point things out that I wouldn't expect it to be utilized a whole lot. Of course, another concern could possibly be trolls and people just constantly spamming the ping button to let people know like, hey, over here, over here, over here, over here. Yeah, so that would be quite annoying. I'm pretty sure 343 would recognize this because that's the first thing that comes to my mind with a ping system. Well, second thing I should say. First thing is, wow, what a great feature to help out players. Second thing is, wow, this is really concerning. I've come across trolls who are just going to be constantly spamming. So my guess is there'll most likely be some form of a cooldown or some kind of limitation or something like that that'll make it so you can't just constantly spam the ping button. Though when you upscale this feature, it can be a bit ridiculous sometimes because we're going to have 12v12 BTB, which those team sizes are just large enough to where you can cause an issue but small enough to where you want to be able to share information with your teammates. This is where the previous leak from Cloverl I think plays a part with this. With the original BTB 2.0 leak saying that you're going to be having squad spawning involved with this. Now with it being 12v12 I don't know if squad spawning would necessarily be needed. Though you could potentially have a squad of say four people so three squads for each team. So with squad spawning could potentially mean just squads in general. You can have three squads within the team of 12 so maybe only your party of four will be able to see your pings. Either way, I'm ultimately glad that something like this is going to be within Halo Infinite. I think it'd be a great thing for new players to one, help learn callouts, understand the flow of the spawns and the way the game plays in general, and it'll help alleviate those people who give those terrible callouts of He's over there. So if you've been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so or missed any of the daily uploads we've been uploading, I got a news playlist right here for you guys to check out. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.